Hey guys, if you have Studio One, there's a really powerful feature in it called the Arranger Track. If you aren't using it, I want you to look at this video and see how powerful it is and how easy it is to use. This is a real short video, so check it out. All right, here is the familiar uh, sequencer window in the DAW Studio One. The Arranger track is up here in the list of different tracks available to you. There it is, Arranger. It is so cool because it's just basically like a giant claw that you can move very complicated sections of a tune about and rearrange them at will exactly the way you want it. And the cool thing about it is it takes a lot of complex information. So in this tune here, here's the final idea of what I ended up with. So if you look at this, this thing is pretty complicated. We've got all these markers, all these meter changes, all these different parts here, okay? Just to show you how powerful this is, you get a pin and you just drag out and then you ignore whatever it says, this intro verse or whatever it's saying, I just ignore that. And then after you draw and you get a bar available, you can draw it out to the length you want and it's just like a giant claw, watch this. So I'll, this is covering the entire idea there, right? Now, if I just drag this arranger bar in this direction, check this out, boom, all these meter changes come, all the markers come, and the entire idea is out here to use. All right, so that's an example of how it's just a giant claw that can drag a lot of information. So let's undo that right now. I'm gonna go from between these two scratch pads and just give you an idea how I rearranged this. Originally I had an intro here, a setup, and then a verse one and a verse two, and then a pre-chorus and then a chorus. And then version two, I got rid of one of the verses. I thought this, the, you don't need two verses back to back. Let's go from a verse to a pre-chorus to a chorus. Well, I can show you real quickly how I would have done that. So let's go to here with, with two verses. We'll get this whole thing across. We'll just expand out and grab all this and take it over into the work area, okay? Boom. Okay, excellent, now we'll just close this. And we'll get rid of this arranger bar, we don't need it anymore, here's the idea. So we've got the two verses here. All right, so what I wanted to do was get from this chordal change, I want this measure to end up here. All right, so I just want to get to this change here, all right? But the smart thing to do is to grab a measure before that because I know that this measure, I'm playing in this, this is the one, two, three, four, five, six, seventh measure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seventh measure. I wanna get from this downbeat right here to this downbeat right here. I'm gonna remove from here to here. I wanna keep this performance here. So here we go, I'll draw an arranger track. This is the area I want to get rid of. This is one, two, three, four, five, six. This is one, two, three, four, five, six. All right. All right. So I've drawn my block of what I want to get rid of. I just grab it and pull it out of the way. Now, you notice it took this six, four meter with it. Now I'll take this and draw another block. Ignore what it says, bridge, chorus, all this stuff. It doesn't make any difference what, what it's labeled. Doesn't make any difference. We'll drag this out to the beginning. Then we'll drag this all the way to the end of what I've got there. And I want to drag this in this direction and rearrange it, i.e. that's the reason they call it the arranger track. So now we drag this down to here, get it buttered right up. And sure enough, we come out of here. So there you go. I've gotten rid of that verse that I thought, well, I don't need two verses in a row. So now I've got one verse going into a pre-chorus. And you notice, check it out. I mean, it took all the, it retained all the meter changes, brought up the markers, kept them all in the right place. Now I can get rid of that if I wish. And if I want to, I can, I think, well, this is a better arrangement. I, uh, and I'm working on this tune, so let's just get rid of all this stuff here. And I'll take this section here, I'll draw 
a loop range up here, and then I can hit this right here, copy loop range to scratch pad, and boom, it's over here in a new scratch pad. I can relabel it, uh, rename it as uh, latest version. You know, call it whatever I want to call it. And I've got all these different scratch pads up here. Here's the final idea. And notice this final idea was dragged over here with an arranger track. Okay, here's that verse going into the pre chorus. So there you go. I was able to rearrange that real quickly, save it to a scratch pad, go back and look at earlier versions in other scratch pads that I had been dragging and rearranging. And over time you can go, oh, this is the arrangement I want. And you can drag from different scratch pads, different sections with, ar with the arranger blocks into the live area and rearrange that to get the exact arrangement you want. It's a great thing. It's a very powerful tool. If you like what you see, please subscribe to the channel. I've got a lot more videos on the channel with tips and tricks and uh, performance stuff and all sorts of stuff like that. So I'm Rusty Smith for Record Mix Repeat. Please come back.